road trip this morning. Um, we're nipping now to Suffolk to pick up a few bits that we bought. And I've got to say, very proud moments for me in the fence that driving down Suffolk from Lincoln this morning. I've now passed seven tractors with GCS trailers on. Um, moving potatoes, moving chicken muck um, and maize. And it may seem quite trivial, but I started my business from scratch and I've worked extremely hard to get to what we've got around us. So to be out there and see my trailers from, from Lincolnshire right down as far as Thetford, etc., out on the road working is, is a very proud moment. So, but I couldn't do that without my customers. So, a big thank you to all my customers that help support my business um, and my staff that also work very hard behind the scenes to get the equipment out. That thing. Michelle, who works in the office again, works very hard, very much um, unseen by our customers as such, as such, but works very hard. So, a great team effort by GCS. Very proud moment to see our traders out there. And uh, so, thank you to everybody involved, you know, and it does mean a lot. So, um, right, on to Suffolk and um, get these bits. Three in a row. Someone's busy hoarding potatoes. And there's another one. We're doing well today. We should be almost like Stobart spotting soon. All right, well, we've come all the way down to Suffolk and um, come past some beautiful, beautiful places here in Suffolk. And um, now we've arrived. We've come down to Richard Western Traders um, to pick up some bits. So, uh, Looks like a very busy and very uh, sizable uh, workshops here. So, uh, right, we're going to have a look. All right, well, rich British traders is certainly over my eyes today. Um, yes, we have we have some of the higher fleet, um, but I've come down to the factory today to collect some uh, more sided sides. There we go, another set. It's that time of year, we're just a bit short. So they've been very helpful. Got them ready for us for next day, which is something that's um, quite rare these days in customer service. So thank you so much for Angus and his team for getting them ready for us. But um, we're gonna have a quick walk around and look, show you some of the trailers that are here. It's, it is very impressive um, what's here. So there's this whole row of trailers here. <coughs> a waste dispatch. I'm led to believe that there's a whole lot more elsewhere. Um, I think the majority of these trailers, I, what I didn't realise was the extent in the world where these trailers go to. Um, there's trailers in the factory there um, being prepped for New Zealand. Um, and all that, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. <coughs> and what's equally good is it's a British company and British manufacturing, which is something that we need to support and we need to keep going in this country. So, uh, yeah, it's really good. So, I think there's all sorts here. I mean, there's those who know Richard Weston, there's the tippers flatbed trailers um, and again they'll, they'll, they'll manufacture them to your specifications so if you need construction spec or things like that um, nothing seems to be a problem so uh, also here nice um, dump trailer there um, with extensions on it we've got the equivalent of these from a different manufacturer and again a very popular trailer uh, very rarely ever see them in the yard um, yeah, nice trailer. So, just so you what are people's preferences on the colour? Which do you prefer, the orange or the grey? Which one of those is something you'd um, prefer? And then there is obviously the Richard Western Dunk Spreaders. Again, manufactured here in Suffolk. Um, very impressive to see how they manufacture this stuff. Um, it, it really is. So, uh, certainly opened my eyes today as to uh, the extent of what goes on here. Very much so. So, 
when we come down, it's, it's, it's awesome to see. It's awesome to see what they do here. Um, there's something a little bit different. A PR5030 trailer. Triaxle, look at that. That is a beast, isn't it? So that's a ejector trailer. We're certainly seeing more and more of this sort of stuff coming out, um, particularly on some of the large forage and biomass projects where um, they're going for the ejector trailers. So what do you think? Is that the way forward? Look at the size, that is a monster though, look at that. That really is a monster. Here we have a dunk spiller out of paint shop and uh, Look at the shine of that paint. It's, it's good. It's good. So, there's all sorts here, but the workshops are a very fine and slick operation. This is, uh, I'm not going to go through the workshops because there's welding and, and that's all that's going on, but uh, this is trader assembly. Do believe, yeah, absolutely awesome. Very well laid out, very, very well prepared. So, certainly, uh, be very lucky to have a look around here. So, it's been a, it, I feel very privileged to be showing around here. It's, it's very, it's uh, certainly opened my eyes to what goes on here and the amount of work and the amount of traders that they actually produce. And where in the world they go to, I have no idea. That Richard Weston uh, really did such a large range, such a quantity of, 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 of trailers. So uh, we'll certainly be back to buy some trailers, and we're starting to get our shopping list ready for next year. If you hire trailers, industrial, construction, events, whatever, and you have a requirement, please let us know. We would be very happy to uh, try and tailor what we buy to um, help you. But look at this. It's a bit dead, miss one. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is the last solid side fitment, we hope, for 2023. I've got the technical job here. Front run? Bottom one. I'm going to do the middle one, bottom one first. Put that in. Oh, that's okay. Hang on. I've got the technical job of coordinating and listening to Paul's instructions. Right, which one? Yeah. That one? Right. Go. Front one. Yeah. I know they have blue here though. No, really? no, here we go. Now, this old girl never ceases to amaze me. At nearly 34, 35 years old, she still puts in a good day's work here at GCS. Uh, we, we use her, uh, not, not all the year, but we use her for um, when there's no other tractors around. But she's great as a, as a shunt tractor for putting trailers onto the wash and any collecting them up together like that because being two wheel, two -wheel drive, she's very, very manoeuvrable. Instant starter, great tractor, and uh, a very valuable member of our um, GCS team. But just a little point, I noticed when I was at the, well, no, I didn't notice it. it was pointed out to me yesterday by um, Angus Weston. This um, cable holder on the Richard Weston here is now pinned. Now, most other trailers, if we're going to look at the Stuart here, and I haven't got any bays, but the bays are saying they're bolted on. Um, that one there is welded on. So the bay is bolted on, that one's welded on, but the Richard Weston's pinned. Now, whilst 
most people won't even get the significance of, the, of this at all. But for us, moving these trays on the lorry, which we do frequently, that piece there gets in the way. So now the fact we can unpin it, lay it on the floor of the lorry, and that gives us an extra, probably nearly 18 inches, two foot of space to back that trailer over the draw bar of this trailer. So it may not seem very significant to most people, <coughs> but in our world, that's um, a great little design feature, which uh, we like. So uh, Richard Weston there, what a great idea. 10 out of 10 for that one. So, when your courier lets you down again, right, and the customer is in urgent need of his Bowser, what's the solution? We go deliver it. So, I'm just dipping off to Snetterton in Norfolk to deliver this happy Bowser, who we've been let down. But we don't let the customer down. So, JJ here's it. JJ! Get the back. JJ's coming too. Put your belt on, JJ. Heather, is my car alarm? Right, we're off. See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Plenty to do. All right, so, see we just coupled up two more trailers, um, going to a customer um, this morning. If we look this way, there's another couple there. Also coupled up, ready to go. So, uh, plenty going on. Two more traders going out to biomass. It's um, not many left. Two more traders going out. The third one being kept shortly by this company. Look at that. They're all like fashion lights. Massive power today. That's a massive limited edition, so I'm told. Not that I know nothing about tractors much. Saw this gang have travelled a long way. Now they're off again. So there goes Josh. Two more of our trailers going out. Two more going out. And uh, yeah, Josh is going off foraging. So if you see him out on the road, give him a wave, look at the yard. There's not a lot in the yard now. One more silage trader over there, that's going out it's, um, tomorrow. So uh, jobs are good. Right, well, thank you very much for watching this video, what we've been up to this week. Um, it's been a roller coaster a week. The days fly by. Um, no idea who it goes with. Thanks for watching. Please click and subscribe, ring the little bell, get notifications of what we're up to. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.